everyone and welcome back. We are about to fly the 3D printed uh, Cub and it's not the entire plane, it's just the fuselage and the tail. Uh, the wing is actually a straight wing from the FT Cub and then the fuselage is based on that but it's all 3D printed and um, I have a power pack C in this plane so it should have plenty of power. The only thing I'm a little worried about is torque, and it's just a little tail heavy. Not I've balanced it out, so not really, uh, but it was tail heavy before I put the uh, bigger wheels on it, the heavier wheels, so hopefully that will balance it out. Other than that, she looks really good, and I think she's ready to fly, so let's take it up and see how it flies. Have some P factor on takeoff apparently. We're gonna try that again. Maybe with a little right rudder. Trim that out just a hair. Well, um, grass is not always your friend when it's in the way. We have a couple problems here. <laughs> Number one, I think we lost our wheel lug. And the other wheel is clear over here. Number two, we lost our propeller. I don't know where it went. Oh, here it is. And uh, have some pieces missing from it. Which it looks like we're gonna need another one of those thanks to taking off on concrete. And probably the bigger issue here is our tail is no longer attached. Which is the weakest joint in the whole plane. Um, on the second version, I've actually created a lot more surface area for this to glue to, so it shouldn't be an issue. However, I don't think this is gonna fly like that. I might have some rudder issues. Oh well, we'll figure this out one of these days. Um, just not ready to, uh, just not ready to give up on this project yet. So, hopefully, we'll be back here in a couple of days with the new plane, and uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, so we are back. It's been like three days of constant rain, and as you can see, it's a really nice day out. But it's Sunday. It's Sunday afternoon, and so we don't have a whole lot of time. But I do want to get this plane back in the air very shortly. Um, I have solved the problem of ground looping on takeoff um, we're not going to take off of the ground we're actually going to launch it so I brought John out here he's going to launch it for me spectacular That was crash-tastic. Wow. So we got a couple issues going on here. It looks like, it looks like this fuselage joint survived. I'm actually pretty happy about that. Maybe next time I'll uh, have to reinforce the whole thing. But unfortunately, the two glue joints that I've reinforced on version two did not survive. So much for version one. It looks like we did a little bit of damage to the nose up here, but this is only version one. So we're going to come back and revisit this with version two. Might not be right away. Um, I had some, I had some issues with this one. So I guess you can call this a learning process. Thanks to John for launching me. It was a good launch, even though uh, wasn't necessarily a successful flight. Um, Let's take this plane and have some fun with it. All right, so the flight may have been a failure, but since I was a little kid, I used to put uh, fireworks in my little plastic model airplanes and uh, let them meet their end. And I was just thinking that that might be a good and fitting end for this plane right here. So 
something I've always wanted to do. Uh, obviously we want to be as safe as possible, but I have some tannerite that I just mixed up and we're going to actually put it in this plane and we're going to see how a 3D printed plane stands up against an explosion. Nearly nothing left. That's pretty impressive. Looks like we have a debris field, probably because the wind was blowing slightly, but debris field for about, uh, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 yards that way. So, uh, there's what's left of the wing. And uh, I, think, I think that's an aileron. I'm not sure. It looks like we did, uh, wow. Impressively enough, the horizontal stabilizer is encrusted with dirt and I had already torn the control horn off, but it survived. And uh, just to prove the, the worth of 3D printing and the flexibility, it's still in pretty good shape. There we go, it split right at the control horn where I'd already torn it, so that's pretty impressive. Let's see, oh, here's a rudder. And uh, here's the bottom part of the rudder. So we know the weak points now, it's at the control horns. Could probably re-glue that together and reuse it. Here's a horizontal stabilizer. Blew the hinges right out of it. Another horizontal stabilizer. Here's the rest of the wing. And yes, it does look like shrapnel. Wow, that's impressive. Check that out. Whew. So, combining two of our favorite uh, hobbies, if you will, that's pretty awesome. Uh, RC airplanes exploding, did a lot of damage. I don't know, maybe we should have kept this and uh, pinned it up on the wall, but uh, I think that's pretty cool. If you enjoyed that, please like this video below and uh, comment and let me know if you have other ideas how to best get rid of your uh, RC airplanes. Don't forget, subscribe to our channel if you enjoy this kind of content, and uh, we will see you next time. Thanks for watching.